My name is oh, Gary Marmish and this is Ryan. Oh, uh, we'll be teaching you how to do floral settings, uh, uh, Calvin style, but we're not truly Calvin, we're, we're just Ryan and Ryan and Gary. What? Uh, what you'll first need, Ryan Paul makes that easy. over here, is uh, a, pair of uh, a pair of pruners, like so, and uh, if you have troubles, like we're going to be out cutting some branches, we'll probably need a hacksaw. Uh, most professionals would have a little or one, but uh, but uh, this is this is the kind we have. So follow us, and we'll go we'll go get some greenage. Okay, what we're doing here now is uh, we're going to get some of this greenage for our centerpiece, and then we'll teach you how. Uh, Ryan, go ahead and get some pieces. And, uh, no, not that 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 big, Ryan. Just just okay. Uh, it's it's important that when you're cutting with a hacksaw to make a clear cut, uh, or else. Uh, you, you can actually kill the plants, uh, I think. Um, I, I really wouldn't know. I'm not truly, I'm just I'm kind of guessing. The horticultural efforts of what we're trying here is just, it's just too diverse for us to actually know. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ryan, you don't want to do that. Well, and once we get done with this, we'll probably, uh, uh, it's not cutting right. <laughs> uh, and that's, this is our, our nice looking piece. We're going to make a, a centerpiece out of and, and Ryan, I need you to take this and I'll, I'll cut some more trimmings right. here. I'll take my hacksaw right. and uh, I'll take a few more trimmings. Uh, the, the art of horticulture and making uh, centerpieces is just, it's just so great that uh, it, it brings tears to my eyes. I just love to, love to make centerpieces even though uh, I wish I could be a professional, which I'm not. So Ryan, uh, let's take these pieces in and let's let's make our viewers a centerpiece, shall we? Oh okay. yeah, let's go. What we're doing here now is uh, we have an aqua block and we've been soaking it for about a minute or two. And uh, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to bring out some of that water and we're just going to plop it in here so it's nice and firm. And what we'll do is is we'll start cutting pieces off this this great tree like so. And we're gonna we're gonna take them of the bottom leaves and just put it in here. And why we do this, we're going to try to layer it as much as possible as not to ruin the effects of our, our uh, centerpiece. Yeah. Go ahead and uh, start taking some clippings there, right? We'll get this put together. <coughs> it's, it's important when you're cutting these to make sure that uh, they're cleaned off properly. And if not, it could really ruin your centerpiece. Like this piece, you want to actually turn this way as to make it more beautiful. Or even even a big branch like when he's clipping, you might even want to put on top. Uh, not that uh, I would really know from expertise. Uh, what we'll do for this piece is actually put this in the middle, like so. And uh, that'll make our center right. You want to cut that in half and then uh, we'll make more. And when you layer it, you want to make sure that you separate it as much as possible as to keep the layering in. And uh, our, our student here, Vaughn, is, is doing this for a time being. He's helping our, our horticulture class, which is very economical. And uh, when you layer it, you want to make sure it's layered correctly, or else you could ruin the whole centerpiece. The uh, ecosystem in which our horticulture is divided into is uh, greatly abundant. Uh, what we're actually doing here is we're making one out of just pine. We're not using flowers. Most professionals use uh, flowers and decor. We're just using our average uh, spruce pine. And uh, we're just placing it freely, layering it to make sure to hide the aqua block. Break, break this down. As you can see, you can, you can kind of get a, a focus of what we're doing here. We're trying to make this aqua block into something ugly so it's beautiful, more appealing to our customer, which would probably want to buy this piece if it's so lovely. And uh, when, 
when you're cutting with these, these are very, very sharp. Uh, you probably don't want to stick your finger in there. I mean, you want to stick your finger in there? Uh, you don't want to do that because that can hurt you. And since we, we are uh, we're in a horticulture class, this is, this is a safe, safe class as well. We're also in a shop. So that's a no no right? Uh, and as you can see, you, you can probably get the basis of looking at our lovely centerpiece here. Uh, it's also important to make sure that uh, you don't ruin the ecology and the horticultural beings of animals. When you cut down these trees, it's, you could possibly kill something, and that would not be good for the ecosystem. Well, this is this is pretty much the basis of our our. This is the base of our our uh, centerpiece. Uh, these pieces you might want to actually trim a little, just just enough to make them really nice. And uh, that's that's pretty much the basics. But uh, I, I truly wouldn't know because I'm not uh, uh, a florist. So this is this is the basis of our centerpiece. Okay, well, what we're we're going to try to do with this beautiful centerpiece is uh, try to sell it to someone of interest and someone with a lot of taste and action. So what we're going to do is, we're actually going to go see if this gentleman inside would like to buy it from us. Yeah. Hello. 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 Hello, sir. Would you like to, would like to buy this? You guys. This beautiful oh, well, do. Only two dollars. Oh, sweet. I'll take it. There you go, sir. Thank you for your, your sale. And this is how you do center piecing Calvin style.